My name is Riley Peterson. We're on the outskirts of Tasajo Ranches, where skilled, highly professional treasure hunters have been gathering in search for a hidden narcos treasure. On July 11, 2015, Joaquin El Chapo Guzman escaped from Federal Social Readaptation No. 1, Mexico's highest security prison through a tunnel 10 meters deep built by bribed police officers who personally dug the tunnels and provided the getaway motorcycle. The Mexican government, strongly embarrassed by the escape, prompted a $5 million reward for information leading to the capture of El Chapo. The United States government, spurred by his escape, decided to launch a sweeping counter-strike against the Sinaloa cartels, going after several of their lieutenants stationed in the U.S., two of which are Cuban-born native Miami traffickers, Yoas Nali Papi Garcia and Juan Cerote Bengunza. According to their testimony during the grand jury, they attested to running their operations out of Tasajo ranches that served as a front for money laundering. More importantly, they attested to personally burying $50 million at various sites around the ranch. To this date, none of the money has been retrieved. The looming prospect of finding this cash has created an underground craze of frenzied narco treasure hunters who vehemently sneaking in and out of the ranch while avoiding police. One such group is highly abased Los Tiburones, led by El Taliban. Hey, Bueno, nosotros estamos aquí, tú sabes, buscando dinero para ayudarnos a nosotros, que esto es el United States of America, sabes, la tierra de las oportunidades. Oye, ya está prendida la camarita. Mira, a mí me gusta el pescado. En Cuba comemos pescado. A mi familia le gusta el pescado. Yo quiero pescado. Yo quiero llevarle a Cuba el pescado. Yo quiero que coma pescado aquí en Miami. This is shit. We spent 12 hours following these guys around, and all we got was footage of them getting drunk and trying to open up the ground with ruts and shovels and flint and pickaxes. Listen. This may not be as good as we thought, but you gotta take the good and the bad in this job, you know? And you were told this when you were hired. This is news. But we're not documenting anything significant out there! Documenting significant? Where the fuck do you think you are? This isn't CNN. We're just some little fish in a giant media pool. You gotta take whatever comes. Well, the problem was that these guys were getting drunk. What's wrong what's with that? What are you... I'm, I'm through with this job. What are you through with this job? What do you think? Jeez. Look, you know what? I need a drink. Can I offer you something? No! Alright. You know, Riley, we gotta think outside of the box on this one. I mean, we gotta use our geography to our advantage here. We're in Miami, for Christ's sake. You know, drug stories in Miami, they've been around for almost 40 years. And they're still relevant. They're still marketable. You know why they are? No. They're still marketable and relevant because the epicenter of the drug trade in the United States is Miami. You know, you know, what you're lacking is motivation here, you know, uh... Here, how's this for inspiration? How's this? How's this? The behemoth that is the ever-expanding war on drugs. Huh? That shit is prime content any day of the week. Alright? You, uh, you seen that thing on Netflix? The thing about narcos, uh, the Pablo Escobar story? That thing's a fucking monster, right? And it's a story that's been told a million times. However, these guys found an angle. All right now, think, think for a second. Imagine if you will follow me with this. Think about your idiots out there, the drunk guys. Think about them accidentally stumbling on a couple of dozen million tomorrow. What's that worth to us? It's a gold mine. That could be the springboard that launches a whole web reality series on these pricks' lives and their newfound wealth. Be fucking rich. Think about that. Uh, do me a favor. Slide over, way. Move. Let me talk to you for a second. Look. I know it's been a long one. Okay? Everybody's fried on this. Hey, why don't you go home? Go home. Take the day tomorrow. Alright? Reflect on what's going on. And if you still have a vague interest in what's going on here, we want you on board. Call Anthony up. Go back out there. Finish filming. Put this thing in the can. 
What do you think? Yeah, you're 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 right, man. Yeah. Um, I just career. You gotta be more patient. Great, excellent. You're still my guy on this thing. Sure. Great, great, man. Great. You know, awesome. Great. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna release this thing as a sneak peek tomorrow on YouTube, and then we'll just watch that hit counter go. Hello? You should talk to this guy. Who? Some guy who saw the video and he called me. He claimed to know where the money's buried. So? Why did you trust that guy? He could just no, be no, really. I checked him out. His name's Francisco Arango. He was arrested for drug trafficking back in 05. He was sentenced to 25 years, but he got released after eight for flipping up Poppy Garcia. And said, oh, Shit! Uh, uh, this sounds dangerous, though. I mean... He gotta have some kind of bound on his head. Like, why would he risk himself like that? Look, I'll give you his number. Yeah, I okay. told him you'd be calling. Don't fuck this up. You ready? Go ahead. 812 667. Uh huh? This is guy. So let me get this straight. This guy, he said he knew where the money was, and you just believed him, just look, like that. Look, it's not like that, okay? I spoke to Ricardo, and he said that this guy's criminal record matches up with the um, Sinaloa cartel. So he obviously know what he's talking about. I don't know why you do this. You know this guy's background. He sounds fucking dangerous. I don't know if you're tired of doing wedding videos, but I am. All right. And sometimes you gotta take meaningful risks in order to move up in this industry. I don't wanna take a risk that's gonna have a gun in my face or me at the bottom of the ocean. Is that him right there? Shit, yeah. yeah go give him a hand. The fuck? You see what he's wearing? That nigga look crazy. D go! Okay, so here's how it's going to go. I'm going to ask you a couple of questions, and you're going to repeat the question and give me the answer. Is that okay? No. All right. Um, how do you know where the money's buried? Okay. I guess that was, straight, that was too straightforward. Um, why do you want us to document this? I already told you. I don't mind. You two tagging along. But if you keep pushing, you ain't getting nothing. But I will say this. I helped Cerrone and Pinkby bury the money. Are we going where the money's buried now? <laughs> Are you kidding? Son, son, son. This here's complex operation. We're gonna need some things. And I know a guy who's got it. Take one more step, I'll blow your fucking head off. Robbie, it's me! I know it's fucking you. Let's talk inside. Are those fucking journalists? Let's talk inside. I'll make it worth your while. Just trust me. Come inside. What are you thinking, Rob? It's too much of a hassle. You have to know the exact location of the money. I do. I marked it on this map right here. Yeah, that's great and all. So they got patrols all over the area. And if they don't get us, the fucking helicopters will. Not get there by the boat. 
Well, you ain't using my fucking boat. Robbie. It's 50 fucking million dollars. You won't have to live the thing for the rest of your life. 50 million dollars. We're scot free with that money. The last time I trusted you, Frank, I lost my fucking eye. I already sold the boat last week. Fuck! 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 Ven acá, mi chino. ¿Qué tú piensas para pagarme la renta este mes? Yeah. Oye, ocho mes. Ocho, ocho mes, chica. Ponte a trabajar. Límpiame toda esta cochina que tienes aquí. Yeah, y yeah, págame yeah. la renta. Yeah. After I get the treasure, yeah, yeah, I'll pay you. Oye lo que te estoy diciendo, págame la renta porque te voy a ripiar. All right, chica, yeah, yeah. You know what? I know where the dude who I sold my boat to keeps it. Maybe we can go get it. Just keep that fucking camera out of my face, though. Give me the map. <laughs> yeah, you got the fucking map. It's in the bag. It's in the bag. Damn it, Frank, you're such a fucking you asshole. Map. God. Shit. <laughs> There's your fucking map. Ah, oh, fuck you, Frank. Fuck you and fuck your mom. Oh, shit. <laughs> 
What? Yes! Okay? There's so much footage on there that we could use. Riley, you almost got your fucking dick cut off. These guys are fucking lunatics. You're fucking bleeding. We're not getting that shit back. Listen, all right? We can become big filmmakers for this. If we show this to the press, come on, man. That's all it's been for you. It's been about the fucking money the whole time. You can stay if you want. I'm gonna go back and get the camera. Goose hunt you gonna send me on? Really? Fucking some narco strike? Shut up! You know what? Fuck you, alright? I am done with this shit. I'm through with you, alright? Fuck you! <laughs> 